Hey guys, so it's spring here in New Hampshire on the homestead and um, I came up with this little idea this year that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm shocked at how how well it worked. It, it really came out awesome. And um, I'm sure some people out there have the same problems that I have. So um, yeah, let me show you it and uh, I'll talk about it for a second. So, um, I like to open up the greenhouse in about, you know, about March 1st. Um, the problem is, is it still gets kind of cold at night. It gets up nice and warm here around, you know, 70, 80, 90 degrees in the greenhouse during the day on a nice sunny day. But it gets um, cold at night, you know, it, it still drops into the 20s outside, you know, even lower sometimes. Um, so what I do is I, I, in years past, is I've been running this 1500 watt little electric heater. And it, um, it does the trick, like it keeps the greenhouse from freezing at night. But the problem I have is my seeds don't germinate. And, and I hate to do it in the house, like on tables. I just don't have the space. So every year I have a problem with seeds germinating. Yeah, they get nice and warm during the day, but they... Uh, they it gets down you know to like 40 degrees on the the soil and the trays at night and they just slows down the germination i mean in years past it's taken me three to four weeks sometimes for peppers to germinate so what i did this year was you know anyone you guys mostly know you can use heating mats like let me show you like this one and and they work pretty good but they you know it's only one tray like one tray at a time so what I did was I used electric radiant underflooring, radiant heat on these tables, the cables. I wound the cables back and forth, just like you would do underneath tile floor. And I made all my tables heated. And I am shocked, like literally in three days, these peppers, I mean, these tomatoes popped up. One week for peppers. It used to take me sometimes literally four weeks for peppers to sprout. And then only half of them would sprout. The other half would rot out. And I, I'm just shocked. I'm, I'm absolutely shocked at how good it worked. So what I did was I made these little greenhouse, these little um, things. So it's like a greenhouse within a greenhouse. It traps the heat on the table. It just, it literally puts the heat right where you need it. So that electric heater there is 1,500 watts. To heat all of these tables is 1,100. It's the most efficient electric heat there is, um, the radiant heat. And it just, it worked awesome. Now I did it in two different ways. So I got the legit um, electric heating, underfloor electric heating for these two tables. And this other one over here, I did an experiment on this table. I used um, these, these uh, warming cables for ice dams on your roof. This was a hundred feet for 85 bucks. Costed me about 500 bucks for the, to do it the other way. And it's nice. So there's some pros and cons, the real, the legit setup has like a nice thermostat and everything, you know, it, it's really controllable and, but the drawback is it's a little more complicated with wiring and stuff. So I made all that so I can waterproof it and put the cover on the box there and make it all completely waterproof. Um, so what I did was I, I just tied this, this one for the roof cables into that switch so I could just turn it on and off separately. But the roof cables one, uh, plug and play, you know, they're, they're pretty easy. You just, you know, if you can run an extension cord out, you can plug it in and you're good to go. Now it doesn't have the thermostat set up, so it's a little less controllable. You have to uh, plug it, you know, turn it on and off manually to control it. But it's much easier. Okay, so what I did was I... I I basically just put down some of this on the, the wooden shelf, the uh, insulation, and then I put down some tile backer, cement tile backer down, and then I wove the cables back and forth on it, and then I poured a one inch thick cement layer over it. Um, 
This is why it's so efficient is because it has that mass. It heats up the mass of the cement and the mass radiates the heat up. So it's not like just an electric heater going crazy, you know, running constantly. So that's part of why it's so efficient. And it just, it really worked awesome. I'm just, I'm shocked. I mean, this is literally two weeks, two weeks in. I have trays, just about everything has popped up. Collard greens, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, flowers, those are petunias and portulacas and beets and Swiss chard and tomatoes and peppers and sunflowers. I mean, lettuce. Everything has just popped up in two weeks. And look at everything. It looks like really nice and really healthy. The cooler weather stuff, like the, the broccoli and stuff, after that stuff sprouts, I can pull it out of there. And, um, you know, just keep it in the greenhouse. So these things also warm up the whole greenhouse much better than that little heater ever did. It was just, I, it was a really great idea. So, you know, there's a couple of ways you could do it too. Um... You could do it the way I did it with the cement and the, you know, either the roofing cables or the, um, the electric, um, the electric under radiant, under floor radiant heat cables. Um, or, you know, you, you could do maybe just pour sand over it, like, uh, and then put some tiles. You, you need to have some kind of mass underneath to catch the heat. And to radiate it up into the soil. I, I think that's really important. But yeah, you could just weave it down and say, you know, say you don't want to mix concrete or anything. You could just weave those cables back and forth like that, about three inches apart. And then pour some sand over it until the cables are buried. And then maybe just take like a box of ceramic tiles and put them down just on top of it. Not even, I mean, just setting them there, you know. Just as some mass to catch to catch the heat. Um, you know, it, worst case too, you could even use like an electric blanket. I mean, just fold it up, you know, fold it in half, lay it down on the table and then maybe just pour some sand over that or, or you know, even just put the di tiles directly on that. Um, but it, you know, it's, it puts the heat right where you need it. It doesn't waste anything and it just worked so, so well. I can't believe that I never really thought of this sooner and went so many years without it it was a it's a total win i mean I, I really couldn't ask for better better results so i didn't video myself doing it I, I just wanted to share this with you guys and show you i mean if you look outside it's still we're still covered in snow and you know it's still been getting down into like 25 at night and especially a couple of weeks ago when i started all this i mean we were buried in snow we had a snowstorm two feet of snow or a foot of snow or something um, it's been pretty warm this last week, but yeah. Um, so if anyone wants me to elaborate a little bit, since I didn't video myself doing it on the steps on that I took to do it, I can give like an example and, and show a couple of different ways, you know, that you might be able to get away with it if you don't necessarily, you know, want to get into like doing the wiring and stuff like that. Like I mentioned, the the roof cables or the, you know, an electric heating blanket, something like that. But I can um, just kind of give you a small example of, of exactly how I did it with the steps where it's, it's really pretty simple concept, but it just, it works awesome. Awesome. And I would definitely, if anybody has a small greenhouse like this and they have a tough time getting this stuff to, to germinate really early, because I like to start things early. March 1st is usually when I try to open the greenhouse up. But like I said, the month of March, it's just tough to get anything to sprout because it gets so cold at night. Um, but yeah, anyways, I, I, I hope this helps. I hope it's, uh, you know, if, if anybody has the same problems I have, this is a great solution. And like I said, leave a comment if you'd like me to make a short video um, giving a deeper explanation of of what i did and how i did it and i'd be happy to do that if there's any interest okay hope this helps guys i'm excited for spring i'm sure everybody else is too